Hello everybody, it's a uh, Friday morning to, uh, today on the 12th of March I think um, and today starts the mid-month book bash that um, Doris from All the Books organizes and she organized this every month this year basically the idea is to have a weekend in which you read as much as possible so basically how this works is there is five words that she gives that related to um, self-care and you can choose your own prompts related to those words. So the first word is ambience and for this I decided that I wanted to go for a long walk somewhere um, this weekend and that would be really nice because right now the weather is not terrible. They said it was gonna rain a lot but hopefully that uh, stays okay. Um, but yeah, the second the second prompt is cleanse, and for this one I am going to do a book, and basically my my goal is to um, catch up with the books I'm reading. So particularly we are reading uh, the Wizard of the Crow this month. I'm organizing a read along for it, but I am a little bit behind from what what I wanted to be. So I want to catch up with this book. Um, not finish it, but so I was supposed, I'm here and I was supposed to finish up to here this um, this week and so I will want to go at least that far and maybe a little bit farther so I a bit ahead for next week um, so that's my prompt for cleanse and the third prompt is beautify and here I have a very specific prompt because um, some time ago, um, we rescued uh, a garden chair from our neighbors. They were throwing it away and it works fine, it's fine. It just looks a little bit rough. Um, so I went to sandpaper it and paint it and make it pretty for uh, summer so that we can use it this summer. Um, then the fourth prompt is edify. Um, and for this one I'm going to choose another book and that would be uh, to read a non-fiction. I have a non-fiction at the go at the moment. Uh, it's called Shogun, Stranger in Shogun City or something like that. Um, I'll put pictures. Um, but yeah, that, that one is uh, in the book to price list. It's not one of, in my group, but it's something that I looked and it sounded interesting, so I, I'm reading it anyway. Um, so I could finish that, uh, but also I want to read um, The Home Place, uh, which is a non-fiction nature memoir that was the pick for the book naturalist last month. Um, and since it, Doris organizes the book naturalist as well, I thought it would be very fitting to read that, um, that for, for the mid-month book bash. And it, I also have the audiobook, so I could listen to it either when I'm on a walk or painting a chair or both. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to work quite well. And then the last prompt is re rejuvenate. Um, and for that one, what I'm going to do, we have some seeds that we want to plant to make baby plants so that when it's a little bit warmer we can plant in the, in the garden for like tomatoes and peppers and things like that. Uh, so I think I'm going to put those seeds in soil so that they can start growing. Um, that is my my idea for that prompt. So yeah, that is my plan, uh, but now I have to get on with work and I'll catch up with you later when I'm finished with work probably. Hello everyone, so it's uh, almost 5 p.m. now and I just finished work. I was listening to uh, my audiobook while I was um, formatting references. A lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I finished the um, um, The Stranger in Shogun City, in the Shogun City or something. Um, and I I found it a little bit forgettable, to be honest. Um, I liked it. It talked about the this particular woman uh, that was from the north of Japan. And she was a little bit of a free spirit, if you will. Um, she didn't want to do the traditional thing, so she decided to run away um, into Tokyo, which was called Eno at the time. And um, yeah, she married uh, someone that her family didn't agree with and then realized that it was uh, 
not the right person and um, she had to work to make her way in life. Um, so she was a very strong woman, but she was also a very hot-headed woman. Um, so I didn't particularly enjoy being in her shoes. Um, and yeah, I, I overall thought it was okay. I learned a lot about Japan and in particular Eno at that time and the class system and uh, all that societal issues and um, and all of that but uh, yeah I I didn't think it was um, it was anything that special um, so yeah but that is done um, so now I think I might uh, film a video or two my my husband is almost here uh, he's coming back from Paris um, and he's almost here so uh, maybe I'll just wait for him and then um, I'll um, film some videos um, I want to film a couple of videos for for next week um, hello so uh, I come here to tell you that I I have not read anything since last time I updated you uh, because my husband came home and then we decided to give the rental car back and walk all the way home, which is like four kilometers. Uh, so I we went for a long, long walk, which was one of my prompts for uh, for the minimum uh, book bash. So I mean, it's not a bad thing. I crossed that one already, and <laughs> it's good because I don't know when else it's gonna be good weather. Uh, and we enjoyed spending time together after a couple of days apart. Um, but yeah. Um, I think now I might actually sit down a little bit. Um, my husband is watching football and I probably will watch football with him but also read at the same time, kind of. Um, I think I have about 150 pages left of the section that I'm supposed to read this week. Um, and I also want to read a little bit more because then I don't have to rush next week. Uh, but we will see how it goes. Uh, I don't have a lot of things planned for this weekend, so we will see. I'll update you. Hello everyone. So it's around 9 a.m. on uh, Saturday and I just woke up about an hour ago. I was having some tea and uh, reading The Wizard of the Crow, which I'm quite uh, into. I mean, I love this book, so that's great. But I'm right now on page 166 and the section I need to reach before tomorrow is 265 so I have about 100 pages left which should be um, doable and I don't know if I told you before because I keep forgetting but I'm trying to do 12 hours of reading and I have a, um, a timer in my phone and it says that I have seven and a half hours left so I have read already four hours and a half which I am on track to to read uh, 12 hours in this weekend so yeah uh, that's my update for now. I wanted to go for a run now, but it's very windy and very unstable in the weather. Uh, so I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I think maybe I'm going to just clean the kitchen a bit and maybe um, sandpaper the, the chair that I want to sandpaper so that I can paint it later. Um, but yeah, I will keep you updated uh, about what I do. So this is how it's looking right now. Um, it's not super homogeneous, I don't know if you can see that, but it's okay because it's just a primer. I want to actually paint it green with that green there. Um, tomorrow, hopefully I have enough paint for the whole thing and hopefully it will look nice.
Hello everyone. Um, I just finished painting that chair, the first layer, and I had a shower and I went back into my pyjamas because it's horrible outside, it's hailing like crazy, so I wasn't going to go out, what's the point of getting dressed? <laughs> but yeah, I think now I will probably read a little bit of my book. I am in page 191, uh, so I have about 70 pages left of the first section. Uh, the section I, I wanted to finish this weekend. Uh, I think for sure I'm going to finish 70 pages this weekend. I was hoping to finish them today. Uh, so we will see if I am able to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sit down now and get into this book a little bit more. Um, and I'll catch up with you maybe later, maybe tomorrow. We will see. So this is how it's looking for now. Um, I ran out of paint so I cannot do a second coat but it definitely needs one. Hello everyone, so as you see that chair doesn't look the best right now. And the paint was a little bit old and I ran out of it right now so I cannot give it a second coat today because COVID there are rules about when I, we can go to shops and stuff. So I cannot just go and buy any gun, but I mean, I'm glad it's done. Um, hopefully I will finish it sometime next week. Um, but yeah, now it has to dry and I am going for a run because it's not raining, <laughs> which is which is something. Um, and I'll update you when I come back. Hello everyone, so I thought I will come and update you a little bit. Um, because I have a lot of things to update you on. So I just came back from a run, uh, have a shower, some food, and now I'm ready to get back to reading. But before I do that, I wanted to let you know that I reached the point that I wanted to reach in this book. Um, now I'm at the beginning of uh, book three, which is exactly where I'm supposed to be. Um, and I'm really liking this. The plot is now... Uh, picking up again so it basically it follows um, this man and woman that are kind of trying to um, to act against the government because the government is very corrupt and um, yeah they are especially the woman is trying to fight against that um, and the man gets um, involved in it in a very unexpected way and he is also supposed to be the wizard of the crow. Um, well, they both are supposed to be the wizard of the crow, which is like this uh, sorcerer that is supposed to have a lot of power and be very good. Um, so yeah, we're following that and then we're following the story of the ruler, who is very corrupt, as I said, and wants money from the World Bank to create this kind of bubble tower. Um, so he's... Um, he's trying to get that money um, but there are lots of uh, plots inside to um, go against him and a lot of things like that so yeah it's, it's been a lot of fun so far and I'm looking forward to continue with that also during my run I finished The Home Place um, and I also like this one so this one is a memoir of a black man who is an ornithor ornithologist is that you know what I mean he, he studies birds, although he, I thought it was going to be a little bit more about the nature part but it's mostly about how he grew up, his family and his heritage and his relationship to birds but not about the birds themselves. Um, and yeah, I liked it. I, I was, as I said, expecting a little bit more nature and that's fine. Uh, one thing that bothered me a bit though was the fact that at some point he he says that he does enjoy uh, hunting and he explains his relationship with nature and the way that he views it, which is fine. But then unnecessarily he says something like, well, you know, um, in, this, in this career that is not very well seen. Many people are vegetarian, but vegetarians do not realize that... Um, yeah, the, the soya that it's grown for for them, their tofu is uh, also destroys ecosystems. And as a scientist saying that, I don't think it's very good because 
yeah sure like and I'm sure those people know um, that those that soya is grown uh, in non-ethical ways always but the majority of the soya that is grown in the world is to feed animals for meat uh, so even if your soya doesn't come from the best place you still need less soya to eat tofu than to eat meat so yeah I thought that was a little bit of a yeah misstep but other than that I like the book. Um, also last night after I finished um, the section of The Wither of the Crow I started Slum Virgin by Gabriela Cabezón Camara which is also the author of <clears throat> The Adventures of China Iron which was in the International Booker Prize last year and I read and I really loved. Uh, so I'm about 20 pages into this one, not very far at all um, but I'm really liking it. I mean I really like the way she writes. It's very um, playful with the words without being jarring um, and this is about uh, this woman that is a, a prostitute in Miami and she's pregnant and her a female lover as far as I have read those 20 pages but I'm really enjoying it and it's only 150 pages so I might finish it today um, which would be nice um, but yeah that's that's what I have been reading so far. Those are my updates. Um, yeah, in terms of the chair, it need, definitely needs another coat of paint, but I don't have the paint right now. And uh, if I want it, I have to make an appointment in the shop, probably for like tomorrow or day after to get the paint. So it's gonna take a few days for me to finish that, but I think that it already looks a lot better than it did before I started sandpapering and all of that. And, um, yeah, I would count that as the beautify prom done. So I think I have finished all the prompts, but in terms of time, I am not finished. I still have like three hours and 15 minutes left. Um, so I think now that I have finished eating and I have tea ready for me, I'm going to sit and read a little bit more of Slum Virgin. And if I finish it, probably um, I would finish those three hours. So yeah, talk to you later. Hello, everyone. Uh, so it's later, it's almost 6 on Sunday, and I just finished Slum Virgin, and that one was really good. It packs so much in such a small book. Uh, it follows this couple, um, so she's a prostitute, I think, and uh, the, the other person in the relationship is a trans woman, and uh, the, the cis woman has uh, a kid, that uh, we know from the beginning that was killed and we kind of sort of see the the relationship and the slum where they live evolve until the moment in which this kid is, is killed uh, and I thought it was really good it discusses of course gender and poverty um, gentrification it, it discusses religion it discusses so much and it's like a 150 page book um, and I really like it. Also, the, the language is quite interesting always. It's very playful, um, but the story is very brutal. Uh, so yeah, that's that's all I have to say for that book. Uh, so according to, to my counter, um, I have 19 minutes left of the 12 hours I wanted to read. Uh, but I think that I'm calling this a success anyway. I finished three books. I catch up with my... Wizard of the Crow reading and I probably will read something later but I think I'm going to finish this vlog for now it, it feels like a good point to wrap up um, so yeah that was that was all uh, let me know if you participated in the Midmon book wash um, what you read or if you have read any of these books um, let's chat in the comments uh, about them and until next video bye